Hi guys, welcome back and today I'm going to be excited to launch to you our newest innovation of a product and that's called the Yum Citrus. So what is a pre-wash? A pre-wash is usually a product that is used in the pre-stages before any sort of contact with your wash pad or mitt gets made on the car. Now we've tested our Yum Citrus against the leading brands and what we have found that the general consensus across the market is the raw material strength, which is the most important part that we're going to be talking about here, is between 3 to 5%. Now with our product, the maximum threshold for a citrus product is actually 21%. So we've actually bumped up the strength all the way up to 21%. And what that gives to you guys is it gives you the massive versatility of whether you want to use the product neat whether you want to dilute it 5 to 1, 10 to 1, 40 to 1, it really doesn't matter. Now, obviously each dilution ratio is going to differ depending on the task at hand. So, as you can see behind us here, we've got a very, very dirty car. It's white and you can see all the dirt. So I'm going to show you live on camera now exactly the true strength of the product. So, when you get your Yum Citrus, the first thing that you will notice is as soon as you open the bottle, I really can't describe to you the smell of it, but we've actually worked on this for a while and the smell reminds me of my childhood that is a whole different story about that product but as you can see the car is filthy now what we're going to do again the car hasn't been pre-rinsed and we're going to do a true test of how it attacks the loose and the stubborn dirt so what you want to do is you want to pre-saturate the area as well as you can now, I'm, I'm going to do the 50-50 comparison. Now, if you can see this already, it's actually already starting to lift the dirt and the dirt's starting to already move down. So, so I am using this neat and because, that's because the car hasn't been washed in a very long time and I want to remove as much dirt as physically possible. Now, you can do this two ways. If you do not have a foam cannon and all you have is a pressure washer, this is your perfect solution. So you're going to let this dwell. So we're, as we're talking on camera, this is dwelling live. So about 30 to 60 seconds. So by the time you go around the whole car, that shouldn't be ample amount of time. Now, what you can do is you can simply just rinse the paint off and you're good to go into your contact wash if you don't have a snow foam cannon. Now, if you do have a snow foam cannon, you can lay this on. You can then layer it up with a, something like Yum Foam. You can let it dwell for up to five, 10 minutes, depending on the weather conditions, and you can rinse it off. Now the foam is gonna actually add that extra bite on top of the citrus, and the citrus is gonna add the bite to the snow foam. So they work both hand in hand. But now it's been around, what, 30 seconds? I'm gonna show you the true power of the citrus. So the floor is starting to turn brown as well because it's dripping onto the floor. It's starting to eat the dirt on the floor as well. So I am going to rinse this car, and you're gonna see exactly how much dirt can be removed with just one product. Now I've done a 50-50, so you've got the white side of the paint and then you can see still the blackness of the paint towards the front fender. As you can see, it is instant. It removes the all, so I'm going to now rinse the rest of the door. So as you can still see, the car is still beating. This product has got the potential, if used wrong, to start to degrade the protection, but then again, it depends what sort of protection is on the vehicle. Now on this, is you've got Yum Ceramic, it's been already on here for a couple of months, so it is still, as you can see, it's, it's still going strong. Now, the difference between the doors is absolutely huge. So the front door here is completely white. Now I'm gonna do something I wouldn't recommend, but look. My hands are completely clean, okay? So, what this dictates is the car is ready for a contact wash. Now, there's no product designed on the market that will completely make the car from zero to 100. That will never happen, and if that does happen, it is not good for your pain because it's not just taking the dirt off, it's taking other things with it as well. But when you've got a 95% surface ready for a contact wash, you start minimizing over the years of a car's life when you start to wash it, you start to minimize all of the swirls, the scratches, and all the general damage that has incurred during washing and drying. Now, this is gonna be really interesting. So, 
as you can see, the worst part of a car usually is towards the rear, especially with this car, it's a four wheel drive, so all four wheels are constantly kicking up the dirt towards the rear. Now, the boot, the rear bumper are black. So, if you do have a foam cannon and you do have something like the Yum phone, I'm gonna show you the personal way that I do it. So, you would lay the citrus on first, so by the time you get around the car, is between 60 to 120 seconds and that will give you enough or well, that will give the citrus enough time to start to break down all the stuff now what we're going to do with this as well we're, going to, we're now going to foam it with the young foam teamed up with the pf22.2 cannon the best foam cannon in the world a very strong foam and you will see just how much of the dirt you'll start to pull down within the foam and that will be a true way of getting your car ready for the pre-washing stages so here we've got the Yum Citrus ready to go and here we've got the PF22.2 so it's got 100 mil of Yum foam and the rest of it is filled with just normal tap water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to pre-saturate the surface. Now like I said this, this car has not been pre-rinsed. And because of how long the car hasn't been washed for, this dirt, the majority of it, is actually ingrained. So let's just make sure everything is even. Right, so I would continue this around the car, as I said, so whichever point you start on, work around the car in a methodical manner, as you always do. Then, there look, it's just running black already, it's an unbelievable product. Then you're gonna hook up your PF22. So with your PF22, you just give it a nice thick blanket of foam. So what this step does is, especially during the warmer climate, you start to see that the foam actually adds more wetting agents towards the citrus and that keeps the citrus and the foam and the panels together for a much longer time. Now this allows, if you've got anything super stubborn, to start to get broken down more and more. The more seconds that these products can be on the panel, the better. So it's starting to literally run green, brown, black, and that's just pulling everything that a normal pre-rinse would not be able to do. Now if you've got really good protection on the car, like something like Yum Ceramic Top with a Yum Detailer, this process will require less foam, less citrus, and less rinsing because the dirt will, will come off a lot quicker. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give this a thorough rinse top down and you'll see the true effect going from a black white paint to a true white paint. So as you can see again here, example number two, it has worked exactly the way that it's supposed to work. And like I said previously, this paint is now ready for your contact stage with the Yum Wash, your two bucket system. And if you do this every time that you wash a car, this will ensure that you're minimizing your swirls, scratches, etc. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you're gonna love the Yum Citrus. It is truly the strongest product of its type on the market right now with the raw material content. It is probably one of the most dilutable products on the market as well. And whichever way you use it, whether it be a light touch up on engine bays, light touch up on your wheel arches, as a pre wash on the car, it, it's got no job that it can't do. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy the product when you receive this in your hands and I look forward to hearing your feedback.